All right, getting still more details of an incident. That's all they're calling it right now. Not a terrorist incident per se, but increasingly looking potentially like one in the, the northern German city of Munster. Uh, that a car a short time ago crashed into a crowd there outside a pub, uh, killing several people. They're not saying how many, but up to 30 were injured. Police tweeted Saturday afternoon that residents in the area should avoid the area near Kiepenkerl. That's a pub in the area where a large-scale police operation, we're told, is underway. Uh, that's a very popular bar in the city's historic downtown district. Uh, a German news agency is separately reporting, citing an ominous sources that the car drove into the crowd. Other sites, on Stein, a German site, saying it appeared to witnesses to be deliberate. Uh, again, if this does go the terror route, it would be a familiar path to take to, to, to jump up onto a street, sidewalk, wherever, to mow people down. With us now is uh, retired four-star general, former Army Vice Chief of Staff Jack Keane. Uh, general, uh, this is just coming into our newsroom now, so so much we don't know. But it is one thing I know that you say we always have to be aware of, and, and average folks have to be aware of, no matter where they are. What do you make of it? Well, certainly uh, several of these have been not terrorist incidents. It's just people that are deranged uh, right. driving cars into people. But the overwhelming majority of these incidents have been terrorist acts, uh, m most of them in Europe and also, of course, we had a very severe one here in New York City. But, uh, yeah, the, the thing in, in Europe is, is there's not just people there that are inspired to conduct attacks against their fellow citizens. There's actually terrorist networks there, and, and that's not something that we have uh, in the United States. And that's what, something that the police will be all over this thing, if it is terrorism. Is this person operating alone? Is there a support system for them? Is there another potential attack that that's coming? But, yeah, that's, uh, it's unfortunate to be sure, regardless of uh, what the motivation is here. Yeah, uh, we are learning several of you, Sky News, also uh, checking through German sources, uh, that the driver killed himself, although there are no official uh, additional reports to confirm this. But again, uh, whether terrorist-related or not, it is something that has happened in a number of cities here in New York's Times Square, for example, downtown New York, of course, where uh, a number of individuals were taken out by an Islamic extremist at the time. But, but uh, you, you know, free societies, if you think about it, General, you've reminded me there's only so much you can do for the individual guy who wants to do something like that or, or someone connected to a terror network. We don't turn everything upside down um, for something like this. But what do we do? Well, this is almost impossible to prevent. The only, the only way we can stop these kinds of incidents from taking place is to stop the people before they do it. And, and, and you're only going to find out about that person if they're on the internet, uh, if they're in a chat room, uh, if they're part of a, if there's some kind of a network, and that's intellig good intelligence work. But actually preventing something like this just prior to the incident itself is uh, next to impossible, just as we have found how difficult it is to, to prevent shootings when they're doing that, no, or prevent, right. prevent a bombing. They're very, very challenging uh, to prevent. It's the, it's the good intelligent work that has to be done that has been so successful in this country with stopping people before they actually go in and begin to execute the act.